What's up? <laughs> How's it going? I'm Tanner Godowskis. These are my two brothers, Patrick and Dane, who came down to visit me for the day. We're here at my pad and we've just been walking around just enjoying the little trinkets that I've collected over time and kind of just going to have a fun beach day and hang out. I mean, we grew up together and we've all kind of grown our separate ways, so it's fun to kind of get together every now and again and do it for old time's sake. Dude, yeah. for old time. Full beach day. <laughs> what? <laughs> So as you can tell, it gets very surfy inside Real here. Quick. Christian Fletcher, 32 years and counting. Fuck yeah, Tanner. Positive Vibe Warriors unite. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. I just, I don't know, I just, I like this room too because you can walk around and kind of like discover more and more little things hiding. These are all my photos and then I go down to FedEx and I print them out and I make little scrapbooks in my notepad and then I scan them and then reprint them out and then draw on them again and then actually a lot of these are I've been making little zines so kind of like you can fold the pages and that's been super fun that would be a dream of mine is to like get a little bit deeper into like what it would take to make a, a zine or a magazine it's art room you gotta send it you know when Tanner got connected with Rain like yeah three or four years ago we were so stoked because we just love we love the brand period so it wasn't even more than that and and me and Dan we were running the shades the whole time before and during and <laughs> so like you know to get invited to be a part of their program and their team was like pretty much such an honor I, I like feel super honored and their shades are obviously sick and, and really just appreciating and celebrating uniqueness right <laughs> like all of those individuals are you know creative inspired about what they're doing and they stand apart from the general masses and you know it's it's really just it inspires you to be who you are inside and follow whatever pursuits you want to do, whether it's something that no one's ever heard of or if tons of people have heard. It makes you reflect on like how cool surfing is. You know, when you when you're surrounded by those people on the team that are living outside of the box and, and making it happen and living vibrantly and like that's inspiring. Like that's kind of the goal is to be able to continue living how we live creatively, enjoying the ocean and however you can do that. That's kind of like the dream. If the question was like, what is it like to have a brand now that is Positive Vibe Warriors? Kind of, it's genuine, it's just who we are, you know? But I think it's in terms of the boards and the foundation and the board drives, it's what we do, more or less. I've always, we've always been really proud about, you know, actions speaking louder, even than the words on the board or on the shirt or whatever. So I feel like now where we're at, it's like continuing to instill that it can be a slogan that lifts your day. And that's always, it started as a mantra that was more like, this is rad, like this can lift your day up and it can create a perception and like a perspective that, you know, it's glass half full. And so being here where we are now, like the boards themselves speak the truth of the slogan and being able to be proud of that, I think is kind of where we're at. It's maybe not like a, an outro of like making a brand is like making money. It's more about like sustainably connecting to surf, you know, like that's kind of really our goal is to stay connected to surf as surfers because whether we're sponsored, whether we're competing, whether we're just having families on the beach, we're not really like, we just want to be surfers our whole life and I think we will be no matter what. So this kind of is like that reflection again of who we are, I think. So. It's, it's even the boards themselves, like <clears throat> in a normal software, these are almost like considered rugged softwares because they're closed cell phone. So these are like non-absorbent. So basically you could drill a hole straight through this board and continue to ride it for its entire life and it wouldn't suck water. And that was a huge thing for us because when somebody buys the softboard, like you don't want to habitually keep buying them. You, you, you know, it's not like the shape is going to change year after year. So it's, you just want to have that one board that you love and have it forever. It doesn't get heavier with the water. Yeah, these are recyclable. So that's that's actually the, the true goal is like to give a full life cycle of the softboard. Like once somebody's done, almost like those rainbow sandals, they would give it back to us and then we make sure it stays out of the landfill and just kind of like close the chain as much as we can from a brand side. And we're just at the inception of the business experience, you know. Uh, this is our first boards that we released. And so, yeah, our role is now to become storytellers of exactly what these boards represent and what they're capable of and 
So it's, it's fun and you can tell that creativity is you know, a huge part of our, our life. And so how to tell stories creatively, how to engage audiences, how to make people inspired to go surfing and share it with each other, you know, like bring families together, bring strangers together and just surf and, and, and enjoy it. Because surfing is ultimately, it's fun, it's enjoyable. And um, to see others have that opportunity to access it and experience it for themselves in whatever capacity they want is, you know, that feels good for us, you know.